Hey everyone, I am here in the family room at Christ Church, and I wanted to give you a peek at some of the improvements that we've made and what the plan is for this room. Many of you have asked, and so that's what I'm here to do, is we've got some of our biggest pieces into the space. We found them and uh, purchased them and got them in the space, and just to give you a sense as to what else lies ahead and where you may be able to help out as well. So let me give you a little tour here. There are our biggest pieces now. So what we're looking at in this space is a series of three different seating areas, if you will. This seating area in the center to help really set this apart as a family room, which is how we've rebranded this. A very soft and comfortable place, an inviting place to come and sit and meet uh, and be for those times that we can use it outside of Sunday morning as well as in addition to Sunday morning. And I'm gonna go back over to this area in just a minute, but that then focuses on this other area. And this is primarily what we are calling our children's corner, children's area. We haven't yet done our improvements to the appointments in this area, but this will remain our children's area uh, in our children's corner. So here is one of our seating areas. Here is our second. And our third is directly behind me, and it's this drop leaf table made by the, a craftsman here in the church, Dave Mitchell. We are going to put four chairs, rolling chairs, on casters around this table to offer a small seating area, and then an additional two so that we can pull up more chairs as is needed. Again, all of those on casters so they roll and they're easy to use. That is probably our next phase that we are at is obtaining those chairs for around this space. In addition, in this central space of the room, we're gonna have two more additional soft chairs, maybe again with casters or with wheels, so that we can roll them over as we know that we have a couple of individuals that really like to sit in the chairs in the rear of the sanctuary. So we're currently searching for those. And into this area, we're also looking at an area rug and the possibility of a coffee table, but an area rug, which will help tie together the blues in the wall, the browns in the floor, and the sanctuary. So this again is our central area, our family room area. We were lucky enough, we really wanted two couches to find these two couches, and we got these couches in consignment. They are leather seating areas, so very easy for us to clean and they are very well-made sofas, so we are positive. We're very affirming that these can uh, live the testament of time. So most family rooms of today have these central wall units, which is where the focus of the room often is. With so many of our meetings now offering a virtual option, as well as our studies often having a DVD-comprised component, a shelving unit of this nature allows us to hide these things when we don't want to see them, but when we do need them or want to see them, there we have them so that we can have our Zoom meetings here while still sitting in this soft area or play one of our DVDs as part of our study that we might do or something that we can get online. And our plan is to take these shelving parts to the sides and put in some of the important artifacts and other things of Christ Church to just set them off, things that are important to us. Again, with a, an area rug planned for down here in additional to soft seats, but this being sort of a central focus and way that we can use this space for meetings. So again, you have the sanctuary here. With the reappointment of this space, we see it being much more utilized for meetings, which means we might put these doors across more often than they frequently have been so that this space really can offer that. Again, two more additional soft seats here that will be movable, but help to create more seating in this area for meetings and other things that we might use it for. Swinging back, here's the table where we will have four chairs with an additional two for smaller meetings and where a, a surface is needed and our family room space. So major updates now, improvements as we work ahead. I'll give you a couple of perspective shots. So here's looking into the room towards the sanctuary. And as we continue to appoint this room, I'll make some updated videos so that you're capable of seeing. I'm going to give you the other perspective from the sanctuary. So walking towards the sanctuary now. 
and we swing back around, and here is the room from the sanctuary. I think once we have the chairs for around this table, it'll help this room feel more full. It still feels kind of empty. But rather than just be a hallway, we really wanted this space to feel like something on its own and offering different ways that it could be utilized. These chairs on casters around here could be pulled up to be also set here for meetings that might happen. So those are the major improvements that we've seen so far. Obviously, the carpet and the paint. Paint was first, then the carpet. This table we knew we wanted to use more and so was the only thing we had in here for a period of time. And then just this past week, we had these two sofas and the central shelving unit uh, come in and be set up. So that's where things stand. We may be looking to all of you to adopt a chair, so one of the chairs that are here, and we can let you know once we have a better sense how much it would cost to adopt a chair, or if there are other appointments that you might be interested in, window treatments, uh, rug for the floor, or one of our two softer chairs, there may be also an opportunity for that. And our final piece will then be completing it out with our children's area, and maybe a couple of things on the walls. So our family room is starting to finally really look and feel like a family room, and I hope you'll have an opportunity to come and be here and enjoy this refreshed space of Christchurch.